This is one of the biggest mistakes you can do on your Flutter apps and that will prevent you to scale. This is something I've seen really often these last years. So today I want to just show you a way to solve this without using any external package. Imagine you're building a game. At the end of the session, you want to notify other services that your game has ended. It will end with something like this. We have a service that notify another that the game has ended. So let's get further now. When our game ends, we want to check if we have a notification, if we have to ask about a review, ask about rating, increase user experience or unlock a new user level. So you will end doing something like this. Problem is, as your app grows, it will start going from this to this. What a mess, right? You don't know if something should be done before another, if service A or review services or rating services should be doing on game end before another. Also, you comp it's completely impossible to unit test this without implementing rating service, service A, review service, experience service, and unit test involves too many things. So how do we solve this? What do we want? We want a service that should avoid to know each other. We want to be able to control the flow without uh, to open all these files and try to understand who should do something before another. So as a solution, we would like to invert the problem. Instead of sending events to everyone, we want to send the events once and let whoever needs it get it. Let's dive into the code. We will use the observer pattern and good news is that has everything already in place to do this easily. We use a stream controller to send events. So we just have to publish our event and whoever needs it will be able to listen. So when we listen, we just have to check for our event and say, okay, our end game has ended, I can handle this here. Of course, we can refactor this and make it even more simple. The event dispatcher will look like this. It's our app event handler. It will have just one instance for the whole app and we will just queue events in this. So we understand the flow. There each event will come one after another and we can just reproduce a flow pretty easily. It will look like this. We have our stream controller that will be responsible to take events and as a stream controller, we can just listen from events. We can even make it a bit simple. We can listen from one type of events. Here is the ID. You filter about your type and you just return your type so you can listen for one specific event. So instead in here for just listen for everything and filter on your service, you can just call the event dispatcher to listen for just one type of events. Let's get a bit further on this. Let's imagine we have an event and we want to be able to catch it even if no one is listening to it yet. You have a service that is here sending this event and no one is listening to this yet, but maybe just in a few seconds, someone will too. So instead of sending an event to the void and not responding to it, we could just pause the stream and wait to someone uh, listening. So you'll be sure that if no one is listening to our app event dispatcher yet, like when your application is starting, you have this event of application started <laughs> and you want someone to listen to it. So you do this, you pause your stream and once someone starts listening, we resume and we send events because it's a stream. You send events and once people have listened to it, these events are no, not even anymore inside this stream. 
the stream controller just get one event after another. And that's something we could improve also. Because when you want inside your services to listen for a list of events and be able to replay them, we could also have a list of events. I won't, I won't dive into this here because this goes a bit further than I want here. But the idea is you could have a list of events in a particular order and you want to replay them. So think about it. It's a specific need. I believe inside games, it's... I believe that's a problem that shouldn't be solved by state management. Everyone speaks about state management, but never speaks about this. And I don't think that state management should solve this. I've seen many things using Riverpod or Block or whatever you want, trying to solve this. But state management for me is not made for this. Okay, that is the end of this video. Let me know how you do solve this problem. I'm always curious to understand how you do this and how others are solving this problem.